Hi all, so in this video I'm going to be running through how the Calendar app in Zendesk integrates with Google Calendar and Office 365 Calendar. Before we jump into the software, uh, I'll just uh, run through uh, the different levels of integration. So the first level being one way, which is when an event gets uh, created on a Zendesk ticket, then that event gets pushed over into Google Calendar uh, and if you change the uh, event over in Zendesk, it will change over in Google. However, if you change it in Google or Office 365, it won't go back the other way. Uh, then we've got two-way sync here, which is when uh, you change the event over in Google and Office 365, then it will change the event back inside of Zendesk. And then the third way of uh, the integration uh, working is for events that uh, aren't tickets or aren't created on tickets, maybe the events are already existing on Google and Office 365 calendars before you connect up your calendars, or uh, you create them over there, uh, then those events will be pulled in to Zendesk as an FYI or a, um, a just a, for, a, for a transparency thing. Uh, you won't be able to edit those events from Zendesk, uh, but you will be able to see them so that you know when to plan uh, your uh, ticket events to take place. Okay, so let's ju jump into the software and have a look at how this all works. Uh, so to start off with, uh, we're going into our admin panel on the left-hand side here for the calendar. And then on the calendars kind of uh, tab here, uh, you'll be able to see all your global calendars. And then at the bottom here, you have a choice to connect up to your Google or Office 365 accounts. So I'm gonna connect up to my Office 365 account here, uh, simply by clicking that button, choosing my account, and uh, then it will be connected, like so. Uh, and you can see here, as soon as I'm connected, I can uh, connect up any of the existing calendars that I've already created with that uh, Office 365 calendar, which I'll do now. So if I click on uh, the calendar, for Office 365, we'll be able to see that it's now connected. So if I jump over to my new hire ticket here and we create an event on the uh, HR calendar for tomorrow uh, at say uh, 10 o'clock and submit that, then over in uh, <coughs> the uh, Office 365 calendar, this will, event will be created. Now if I change when this event takes place, say for example, we're moving it from 10 o'clock uh, to 12 p.m., uh, then back over inside of uh, Zendesk, that will be changed. You can see it's already changed here. If I click on uh, Edit in Calendar, it's just gonna load here. Uh, we'll be able to see that that event has now been uh, created. Oh, sorry, updated. Uh, so that's the two-way sync uh, in action. If I wanna change uh, that, then I can jump over, I'm just gonna get out of this, uh, jump over to the calendar, and at any point I can click on HR, and uh, in addition to the normal uh, calendar controls uh, that you get here, uh, you do have the option to turn on and off two-way sync. So if that's off, then it'll only be one-way sync. Uh, and then if there are events that already exist over in your other calendar, then they, uh, you can decide how those events will be pulled in, whether you wanna see all of the details, only see whether you're busy or not busy, or, or maybe you don't want those event, uh, events being pulled in from the external calendar. Um, so let's have a look at how that uh, the, works with the, the pulling in of events, and we'll do that with uh, our Google Calendar here. So as you can see over here, we've got some existing events uh, that are already uh, on the calendar. So when we connect up that uh, a calendar, these events will be pulled back in. Uh, so right now I'm gonna connect up to that account that's got those uh, events on it, like so. Just gonna allow that. That connection's been made and bang, you can see now we've got the extra option running down the left-hand side here to be able to connect up any of these calendars. Uh, but you can also, if you wanna, uh, you, the, the calendars don't exist yet and you want to create these more quickly, you can click from the drop-down, uh, sorry, we're going to add a Google one, you can click from the drop-down menu here and if you've got multiple calendars, they'll be listed uh, for that account uh, right here. So I'm going to connect up my marketing calendar and that's going to create a whole new calendar for me. And we've got uh, two-way sync and show full event details switched on like so. And as soon as I uh, create that, uh, it's going to create the calendar. And if I click on the uh, calendar pop-up here and move to the marketing calendar, we'll be able to see now that those events 
uh, that were pre-existing on the calendar have uh, automatically been pulled in. Of course, uh, since we've got two-way uh, calendar sync uh, switched on, the, uh, that, that will work the same way as well. So if I go to create uh, an event in the calendar, uh, like so, we'll set this one for 1 p.m. on Friday the 8th, uh, and we'll be able to see over in Google Calendar that um, uh, that event gets created over there as well. Maybe, maybe just uh, refresh this to make it uh, faster. You can see that it's just come in. And once again, if I move uh, the event over in uh, Google Calendar, maybe I need to move that to a Saturday. Uh, we'll be able to see back over in uh, Zendesk um, the uh, event. You can see here <coughs> uh, the event has been updated. So yeah, so that's the different levels of integration and how the app integrates with Google and Office 365. Uh, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, email us at support at sweethawk.co.